There's a whole world of natural beauty. And we plan to capture it all for the Care Channel and Relax With Care. Join us on our mission to bring relaxation to everyone who needs it. I wasn't expecting Lobos Point to be a really big location. It kind of seemed fine from the photos, like everything else was more dramatic. So we saved it for the last morning where we knew it would be a little overcast and a little dreary that if it didn't work out, it wouldn't be that big a deal. We got there and it was overcast, but there seemed to be a little bit more to shoot than we thought. But we got in and because it was a little bit later, the sun started peeking out a little bit early. So it actually turned out to be a pretty decent location. But I found out that there would be sea lions there. This trip was rather devoid of animals and we had shot so much of the same type of coastline. I was really hungry for something different, a little animal action there. So I was really excited about sea lions and get some sea lions. And I found some that were way on this rock on the other side, so it wasn't really working for me. I basically walked all the way down to the end and got a lot of the great rocks. It was cloudy in the morning, so it was actually kind of okay that we didn't get there as early as we did. The reason we like the morning and the evening is because the color temperature of the sun drops, so it turns the light really warm color, really orange. And it just looks really nice. It's really easy to expose on the camera. In the mid chunk of the day, that's where the light just turns white and it reflects off of rocks. It's hard to expose. It doesn't come across to me as something very pretty. So we're starting to enter that time right now. And we got to um, a little more like sandy beach and then we kind of got, came across this goose, which was rather amusing. It was clearly a goose that uh, had been fed many, many times because it just walked right up to us. And like most geese will just either not want you anywhere near it or try and fight you. But this one just kind of walked right up to us. And my goal was to at least trick it into thinking I was feeding it just so I could get a shot of it. I was throwing rocks and stones. But after that, he really didn't leave us alone. We had uh, we'd wrapped up on the beach and uh, basically thought that the shoot was done. Uh, I thought I'd shot my last Care Channel shot for Big Sur that day. We packed everything up, heading back to the car. Um, but we came across this kind of like little cove area where we looked down and we noticed that there are at least six pairs of a mother and calf seals hanging out on the beach and swimming around. It was really, really cool. And one of the things about this job is even when you think you're done sometimes, sometimes you gotta pull the camera out because those moments don't just show up. You can't plan for those moments. So it was really important to kind of get the camera back out and capture what was, in my mind, a very unique little experience there, which was just all those pairs, all those, those mothers, like kind of, they looked like they were kind of training the little calves to swim and just kind of run around on the beach. So that ended up being the final shots of the trip. Um, and thank goodness for that, because it was a really cool moment. I've had this rule since really early on, years and years and years ago, I made this rule that always go around the corner because right when you're about to stop, if you just go around that next corner, there's always something potentially really interesting over there. And following that rule, I've gotten some of the coolest stuff I've ever gotten on the channel. And the day I was like, it's the end of the trip. We've got so much great footage. Uh, it started, the light's starting to get hot. My back hurts still. And it's fine. I, I, Ford's got that whole side of the park covered, so I'm just getting back to the car. And I had done all this work trying to find the seals, the sea lions. I'm trying to find the sea lions. I was excited. And then I'm like, oh, they're not there. They're way up there. And then Ford comes back and is like, oh, and I got all these sea lions. Ford got all the sea lions. I didn't get any sea lions. So I should have gone around the corner and followed my number one rule. But Ford got the sea lions, so that's it's all good. It's going to the same place. 